recently several questions about internet connections were posted on the forums local to Newberry. I consider myself a first adopter to many technologies, and with that I tend to jump first on newer technology. Starlink, which is internet service provided by low-orbit satellites, is one of those technologies. One of the catches for Starlink is that you need to have a clear view of the sky. In a city, like Newberry, it is often difficult to get a clear view without obstructions such as trees. In the video you see the Starlink app you can find in the Apple and Android store. In it you can find a function to look for obstructions. This is available even if you do not sign up for the Starlink service. You turn the phone to the sky and make the small dots disappear. As you can see, my first location failed due to a tree. In the second location the service is clear. and on to the unboxing. I ordered Starlink 11 months prior to it arriving. At this time it was stated that the arrival time would depend on when there is clear satellite coverage providing a good service level. It was surprising when the website indicated the dish, affectionately known as Dishy, was shipping. As you can see, the box has very few parts inside. There are no written instructions included. And there is no rental service available with the hardware at this time this video was created. You must pay up front for the hardware. The hardware comes in three pieces. There is the dish that is connected to the control box using an enhanced USB 3.0 cable. There is a stand that connects to the dish. The stand does have holes for mounting it to a flat surface. All parts snap together and include weatherproofing on all cables. The dish, when placed where the previous obstruction test was done, will scan the sky and find the correct orientation. This process takes about 5 minutes for the first time. Starlink creates its own Wi-Fi network. You are able to select the SSID and the password from the app on your phone. On to speed. Running a speed test on Starlink shows 93 megabits per second download and 11.2 megabits per second upload. Immediately after testing, 
a second test was run using West Carolina Tel's 1000 megabit per second service. This was repeated using a speed test for Netflix, with the results shown here. There are a few catches. In this image you can see there are ground stations. These stations provide data to the Starlink satellites. The nearest ground station to Newberry is Gaffney, South Carolina. As pictured here the ground station is established. Unfortunately the data, as shown in the speed tests, indicates the Norcross Georgia ground station is utilized. This could indicate that some speed improvements are coming when all of the ground stations are utilized. The question is, then, why would you subscribe to Starlink? There are very specific use cases where other providers are not available or those available are slower than Starlink. Starlink is also funding SpaceX's efforts to expand space travel. Starlink is not promoted as mobile, so traveling with the dish is not endorsed at the time this video was created. Still, for those with vacation homes, the ability to move the dish between those homes easily with no costs avoids keeping multiple service providers. Ultimately, Starlink delivers on what is sold with few interruptions. The question is whether or not it is a product for you. Thank you for watching the video.